Well, here we are. I made it to the No Names. I came with Bill and Marty from uh, Useful Entertainment, so I don't have any a car with me. But I still made it here, so. Been hanging out, wandering around, checking everything out. Jezebel's here. Scott from Scott's Beat Shop. A lot of other cool stuff here. I think Marty might be trying to get a race with this 70 Riviera down here. interesting just been walking around checking all the cars out and everything and there it is the holy goat seeing this thing in person just after seeing it on camera doesn't I mean it's just way over the top and it's just crazy how you doing bud the bullet holes in this thing. It just went through it all. Even the license plate got shot up. That's just insane how they passed through the hood and grazed off the hood. That is just nuts. Drive this year? Oh, of course. Did you really? I don't trailer nothing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We drove this car 2,000 miles in Texas. Oh, really? Yeah. And 400 miles here made nothing. Oh, yeah. Does it rattle <laughs> a little oh. bit? <laughs> it's not the most pleasant thing, but it drives real fast. Does it really? It's kind of amazing after what it's been through. Yeah. And there's the old Buick that. I guess Marty's putting the wagon up against. I don't know if they called him out or what the hell's going on, but 455 70 Riviera against a 69 455 Tornado engine and a 90 Buick Estate wagon. So nice little ride. So kinds of lots of neat cars here. Super B. Nice seventy four Z twenty eight. It's pretty inside. I like the color of it. It's almost the color of what the Firebird's supposed to be. I like the air induction they had an eighty one air induction put on it. That's pretty cool. Old Traeger SSTs. Cuda. Tons of neat stuff here. You don't want to be on camera? I'm okay with it. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'm just showing the engine off because I haven't shown the engine off. So I know. This thing is so clean. This is crazy. Quit, quit making excuses. Let's talk our cameras together. Oh, there we go. <laughs> quit making excuses. Excuses that the car is a piece of junk. It's not junk, it got us here. Yeah. It's got to get us home, too. It whistled the whole way here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. 
You know who I haven't gotten on camera yet? What are you? I haven't gotten you on camera yet. Okay. On mine. Right yeah, there we go. There we go. Can you oh. split your eyes two different directions? <laughs> oh, that's too much effort. I almost pooped. Oh, man, I'm getting... You guys, all the attention. You guys are tag teaming. We are. Say hi to the camera. Hang on. Okay, now we're good. You can tag team me. Since you're this big YouTube guy, you're going to sign my hairy ass. All right, where's my marker? <laughs> I was going to get it. Oh, I wanted to want it on the titty, but I got a big, I got a big guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I guess I should, huh? I should be careful. I hope you don't have a marker in there. You could carve it in with a screwdriver, then it'll be there forever. <laughs> You got a paint marker. And it's pink yet. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be red, but it well, comes out pink. Comes out pink. Right away, they got to go for the jugular. They got to got to make fun of the Chevelle, you know. Why? Yeah, we got the wagon here. Marty ran this. He's over there okay. chatting about it. Didn't do too bad. He ran a second faster than it did the last time we ran it. Well, a little bit more than a second faster. Not too bad for how big it is. And the fact that it's not geared or anything like that. So, did all right. So, I'll try and get some more video.
right there at the No Name Nationals. Come on, that is awesome. That was pure carnage right there. There is nice. The smoky fire. Kind of makes you want to get a book. And, you know, so I'm totally kidding. All right. Like, Turn that thing into nacho Harlequin. cheese. Harlequin. <laughs> Grand and tires. The Harlequin Mopar. I'm the only person here knows that means. <laughs> Harlequin, what's that mean? That sounds like that fancy German speak. <laughs> old satellite here 67 looks like a nostalgic drag car this thing's nice he said he got a 512 in it I watched it run down make a run yesterday and it's pulling the wheels up that's cool I like how it looks like a nostalgic drag car that's neat that's just cool. 
side pipes on it. I don't know saying he actually he actually made the mufflers for this. <laughs> yeah, I'll have it video. So, yeah, I had to make my own. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice, yeah. We got in this thing? 316. 318. Oh, just 318. Okay. Put a four barrel on it and otherwise it's choking on its heads. So. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someday we'll put aluminum heads on it and some hyper piston. Mm -hmm. See what just, it can do. Yeah, just make it still keep it what it is as a road van, but just make it have some efficient power. Yeah. And headers, I'm sure, is probably a pain on these things. But no. no? Headers are super easy. Oh, yeah. You put them on about a week and a half ago. You can put them on on this drive or passenger side with the oil filter on. Just drop it in on the top, slide it in. Oh wow. And then the driver's side is closer. So you go in under it and just hang it on the studs. Oh. Got a balance on there, you get up there and pull the nuts down. It took 20 minutes once I had the manifolds on. Oh my god. And the manifolds came right off. No studs broken. Just it was creepy weird. <laughs> Probably because they're up high yeah. and out of the weather. That's cool though. Yeah. Nice. I know Tom will enjoy this. He keeps looking for one. I'm sure we're gonna drag one home one of these days. <laughs> Just don't know where. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta finish the coronet first. First things first. That's very nice. Corvettes like side pipes. Vans like side pipes. Crossover. Show me the video. I have not Thank you, Adam. Thank you.
tail shaft out of his transmission on the line if you saw when I was up there so we had to push it all the way back to the pits there's pieces of it sitting here on the table there's bits and pieces of the transmission there so it just hooked up too good and then that was the end of her so that was a, a done deal so <laughs> so, save him, put him on Riley's Well, I gotta get Mark on camera because I haven't gotten Mark on camera at all all weekend. And his car. Oh, come on, man. He looks fine. You gotta get him from this side so you can see the metal plate. The metal plate. Oh yeah, <laughs> that thing is beautiful. This thing's been a race car since 1969. It's just awesome. I've noticed that uh, with all the runs I've been making, the rear end has settled itself down some The springs too. are settling yeah. down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're coming settling down a little. because we got some guy in the drag car revving his stuff up. Yeah. Well, here's the carnage from Jed's car and what happened. That's the slip yoke and then that's the tail shaft and I'm thinking that's probably the input shaft of the transmission that's twisted off inside the slip yoke. So, uh, you've done it up pretty good. So, I guess it's time for a new transmission. So, Alright, here we go, 28 Gen 5, round number 2. This is a cool car right here. This car was in Hot Rod Magazine in 1994. They did a, uh, a crate engine shootout. And, um, it was against a ZZ4 Camaro. And then it was against a Ford Mustang with a Ford crate engine in it. And then it was this with the new, I guess it was the 360 Commander or whatever it was. So um, Dick Landy actually prepped this car for the shootout and actually won the, the crate engine shootout. But uh, this is the car that was on, that was in Hot Rod. I'm not real sure what the history is on it. I know I watched this video on it and he said it had changed hands several times. Different people had it. And it looks like he's got a fuel injected uh, turbocharged 3 I think it is in it now. Somebody was saying. But yeah, this is the old one. Uh, Dick Landy car from Street Car Shootout. It was actually on the cover. A Camaro and a Mustang. Pretty neat that this car's still around. It's pretty wild. Well, it looks a little worse for wear, but oh well. Hey, what's going on everybody? Chris here from Test the Speed Shop. Well, it's been about a week, well, it's been a little over a week since 
the no name nationals and uh, I'm just finally getting to do a, a little outro here had a really good time there I'd love to do it again um, hopefully I can get the subscribers and be able to do it again so like and subscribe um, met a great bunch of people there uh, Austin from uh, LaCour Automotive uh, uh, Ryan Bartless um, Adam from Hoosier Garage uh, um, Jed Mike and Jed from Scott Speed Shop uh, Mark from Big Foots and Mopars uh, there's countless other people that I also met there too um, I just if I missed you I'm sorry <laughs> so but it was a good time long drive we finally we left Sunday and we just cannonballed home and we got home at 5:30 on Monday morning so I had off on Monday but I was just exhausted and trying to catch up from work I just haven't had time to download stuff or anything like that so so I just wanted to do like a little uh, quick outro to put on the end of the video here and um, I hope to see you guys all there next year and uh, I'm out see ya